Hello guys, Peggy Day here. Unexpectedly another video. Okay guys, uh, <laughs> I guess the topic of this video is another waffle, another kit, and a jolly tune. Okay guys, well, I'm going to start off with a little waffle right here. Um, I just did a video on the final reveal for Mr. Mark Lamont's 50th anniversary Hawker Harry Rupeld. I got that done and got some pictures posted on Facebook as well on Mr. Mark Lamont's page on the, on the Harrier page. Probably some other pages probably uh, rise somewhere in uh, Facebook too as well. Anyway, uh, for the waffle, is uh, I'm enjoying this beautiful uh, partly sunny overcast uh, Tuesday on my day off. And uh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm fixing to go to the hobby shop and get me some more paint so I can do another build for you guys. And uh, again, I'm sad to see that build come to an end. It's uh, like everything, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> Even people. And uh, so this video is going to be, as mentioned, a, a waffle and a, another kit, a jolly tune. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to start out with a Jolly Tune first, then a Waffle, then a Kit. And uh, that'll be it for me until the next uh, video will be uh, probably an update video of what I'll be uh, starting on next for the build to keep you guys in the news and me busy. And uh, so we're going to start out with Jolly Tune. This tune is by the Adventures. It's called uh, Diamonds. I think it's the second song on the Adventures album. I think it's right after Pipeline. And uh, this song was rarely heard, rarely played, and by memory, I played the best way I can remember. And it goes something like this. With my uh, classic player Fender Jazzmaster I got, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play that jolly tune. And uh, it goes something like this. Adventures just for you guys. Jolly Tune for Frankie Day. <laughs> you can see old Frankie Day is back in shape again, so so is the Jazz Master. Okay, guys, um, I think I posted this on the last video I did. A little kit right here. I put this over here to the side. Put it over here where I can grab freely. Put the Jazz Master over here. Excuse my back, guys. No jazz master over here. Okay, enough of the jolly tune. Now let's get back to business. Okay, uh, as I as mentioned last video, guys, on the Hacker Harrier final reveal, I went and got this. This this uh, 
this kid here, I'm thinking about go ahead and start this build right here. And uh, before I do, I'll go ahead and make a review of this. Uh, the other one I made came out pretty good, but it was a little bit too dark, so I got a little bit too carried away in the washes. And uh, I know they are used and abused and pretty well torn up, but they weren't that dark. And uh, so I'm going to make it happen to a lot more better uh, pay schedule than it was in the last build I did. Okay, for a waffle, I'm going to get on to Portland probably uh, next week. <coughs> and um, <coughs> I'll probably be starting on, probably be finishing up a couple other things got laying around. I think most of the ones need to be finished up are just all ships. And... Uh, I got the Titanic. I'll probably be getting on that pretty soon. And I got the Flying Cloud over here by Blue Jackets. I got to get that shaken. So don't take me long to get these things, guys. Once I get get fired up, get a get a little fire beneath my rear end like that, I get going pretty good. So right now I'm kind of retiring from the ship for a while and get back on the on some plastic. So I'll go ahead and start on this uh, this Whitley bomber and make a good in view box report on it. All those. There's been a lot out there done on it, and and uh, mine are kind of half-assed because I skimmed through everything. A lot of you guys are review a lot more better reviews and what I've been doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my time and do that because I watch a lot of videos, guys, and I know my videos are a lot different compared to a lot of yeah, you guys out there and everything. And just we're all different. That makes the world, that makes the world go round. We're all different. We're all the same. Would be about as bland as baby food, but. Uh, me, I like to get, put the human element into it more than just just the model itself. And uh, like uh, William Shakespeare says, the world's a stage, you know. And there's a stage to be found or made. I'll be there. So um, I'll probably uh, bring out something else too. I'll be building. Wait a second, I got that uh, I got a you know, Aurora. SC5 I gotta finish up on too. I'll get that going back to back along with my Whitley. So I got a lot of couple things to finish up on. And I, I like work on airplanes. And I got my new I want I want uh airbrush, seem like I do okay. I miss my pache, but but uh I want the airbrush is pretty good, I like it. It's what I like about it's got that little filler bowl on top. You can mix everything right there and blow it out your reservoir and fill up more paint and go on go and keep it going. Opposed to the old kind, you take out the bowl, clamp the bowl, clamp the airbrush, everything like that. Everything's cleaned right there. And you really want to feel clean, take a needle out and soak it in acetone. And get, rid, uh, get rid of all that residue on there and keep the airbrush nice and clean. And don't dent the needles, you'll be okay. And uh, so make sure you keep your airbrush out of harm's way and knock them down. Because sometimes you fall head first like a bomb. And they hit a hard four, but you might as well get it. Because I got news for you, that needle's bent. It's bent like the word bent means in Webster Dictionary. It's shot. So if you get another needle. And uh, so be careful your needles and your brushes, guys. It'll make, it'll make a difference on your molly. And uh, got the Harrier over here behind me. You can see it's set. I gotta find a spot for it. And I got a lot of spring cleaning to do back here, guys. Uh, when April next month gets here, it's getting warm outside now. It's starting. It's trying its best to get warm. And as soon as uh, it warms up real well, we'll break it gonna do a lot, a lot of. Uh, Redoing inside this model man cave. I'm getting too congested. I'm getting some being pushed in the corner and I can't get out and uh, That's not a good feeling. So that's how things get busted and lost So I got a lot of uh, spring cleaning to do back here and I uh, get this place tidied up get the ship shape It sure to hell wouldn't pass captain inspection. I'll tell you that uh, We all got a bad part about having a a, a, a Hobby building models guys <laughs> Accumulation of stuff all over the place, you know, you get the funny thing about it, you know where it's at, and a lot of people don't. And, uh, for the love of life, me, I lost a whole pack of number 11 blades, I don't know where they're at, I got a gut feeling, either in my Sky Warrior box, now there's no one I get going, I, I'll be working on that too, so I'll keep the videos up on that one. And my well ship Wander, which I'll be getting on that too, one of my commenters mentioned, yeah, you can do anything more on, on the Wander build. And I come in the back and say, yes, uh, I'll probably be on that very shortly. Right now I'm getting things, uh, I'm building some models right now, and I'll get to it, and I'll get to it. And it won't take long to get it done, just like my USS Ward, my uh, 310 Destroyer. I got her done, and she's in a permanent 
in our back room back there is part of the display case. It looks nice. I have to worry about hands and dust getting into it. It seems to, to do all right. And uh, and uh, like I say, guys, I'm very happy right now, fellas. You know, I got, I'm getting my life back together again. Like I say, man, we don't got a car. You got you're, you're virtually you're done. You know, you become a prisoner from society. And no matter what the love of models that you've got that you like to build, like I do, pretty soon you got to go out that door to go to the store to get some food or go out and pay a bill or do something. When you got in the car, you can't do that, and that just adds on a little, little stir-crazy, a little bit of bug house going on, you know? So, with my little brother, you know, I mean, uh, I'll be a toad out of a hole. And, uh, so he, uh, he's been, uh, hauled me around being my cab driver, and I give him money all the time for gas and everything, and uh, he takes care of me pretty good, you know, and, and since I got my own car now, got my life back together again, it's been much appreciated, and next, and, uh, it's got to teach me a lesson in life, you got to be a lot more careful, and, uh, watch out for people a lot. That's one thing about people nowadays, guys. Most 99, 9 tenths of the population of America, any, like anywhere you go, people are not aware of their surroundings. They got these, uh, use this for an example, these iPads that constantly got them in their hands and watch it all the time. These people are goddamn robots. My God. I've never seen it in my life, even when they have dinner where I work at. I see these people with families. And each one of the family members got one of those iPhones, you call them. No family conversation, no nothing. But back in my days, I'm old school, guys. They, you know, back in my days when I was a young kid growing up in this world, we had a big old long table. Dad sat at one end, that was the king, and the queen was my mother. She sat at one end, and us little lug nuts, we sat at the side. And as my dad ate his food, he always, he always told us what to do the next day. It was... Family conversation is called plan of the day, like being in the military. You gotta have plan of the day to go by, you know, routine. My dad said, okay, Frank, your job is, uh, I'll for an example, go out in that garage, get those goddamn trash cans, get them spick and span down clean with hot soapy water, get them cleaned inside out. When you get done, paint them things aluminum. There's a stencil board back there, stencil on there. And when it dries, take some newspaper and line up on the side of the trash cans. So back in those days, there was no such thing as plastic trash can liners like you buy at the end stores anywhere. Everybody's done with newspapers. So we save newspapers. Newspapers are very important to use. After reading yesterday's news, they make, they make good uh, wrappings for trash cans and things. And uh, even pack the things up neatly, tidy, and put it in a box so it will keep them getting broken. So, uh, of course, things, times are different nowadays. The whole world is upside down, as we all know it. And... Uh, like I say, you know, there's no, no family conversation. I mean, sitting there, everybody's got these phones, everybody's in a different world. Man, what a... I feel like I woke up from a coma from the 1950s and 60s into a different world. So, man, finding out I'm an old man now, my dad and mom are dead, my brothers and sisters are all gone except one, and, and people who I loved are all gone, and, and I'm all alone in an upside-down crazy world. Hmm. Well... This world's been upside down and crazy before, and there's ways to straighten it out, so there'd probably be a way to get this place, this place straightened out, but in due time, in due time. So it's going to take an event to straighten things out. That's the way it goes. Wake people up a little bit. Teach them a, little, teach them a dark form of reality instead of uh, living in the utopian world with an iPhone and media and stuff. And, uh, Oh yeah, the police report right there I got from the courthouse and uh, on, on my car wreck, that guy was on the on that cell phone time because I didn't know that. The, I, that's, so that's why that cop asked him, let me see your cell phone. I had no idea that they can hook up to your cell phone and tell what time you've been on and everything else. So it's been recorded that he was on the phone by the time of the accident. So. It's all over with. I paid for my end, he's going to pay for his. And uh, my life's back together again. The car's warming up outside. The time I close off this video, it's time to go to the hobby shop and get me some more paints. And uh, take care of the half honey lips for my wife. I go in the store, which I love to drive now, all over the place. Take care of my baby doll. 
and uh, take care of myself and everything else will fall in quite nicely and uh, it's not quite nice I'm running out of time right now so I gotta get to the store so this is kind of like a fast video a waffle a new kit and a jolly tune okay guys it's Frankie Day signing off one more time again and may God bless so stay tuned for the inbox review of the uh, Airfix Whitley done the correct way like way everybody else does it and uh, my post experience on the last build and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful video you guys will like it so stay tuned and uh, and build on and have strong take care of your family and take care of yourself and I shall return pick a day signing off make mama happy and God bless you guys and I'll catch you next video bye boys <laughs>